It is springtime, the days are getting longer, the temperatures are warming up, and your grass is about half green, half brown still. So in today's video, we're going to talk about three things that you can do as a homeowner to help with spring green up. When your lawn is trying to green up, it's all about the soil temperature. So this time of year is kind of an awkward time of year. Um, you know, daytimes are, are getting pretty warm, but our nighttime temperatures are still cool. Uh, now I'm talking about warm season turf grass, uh, Bermuda and zoysia grass specifically. Uh, we need our nighttime temperatures to consistently be around 60 to 65 degrees, and we're just not there yet. It's, um, today's date was April the 4th. Uh, we've dipped back down into the low 40s. I think it's actually going down to 39 degrees tonight. So that's going to hold our lawns back from greening up fully. Um, but what we're talking about today, we're going to give you some tips to, to help you help your lawn green up. And the first tip we're going to give is your mowing height or just mowing. Uh, go ahead and scalp your lawn down if you haven't done it yet. Uh, cut your grass as short as you can. The reason you're doing that is to allow the sunlight to penetrate the soil to warm up that soil temperature. March is usually the best time to go ahead and lower your, your mowing height. Um, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and get on a, a weekly mowing schedule. If you can't mow weekly, uh, try at least every two weeks. Just get on some sort of a schedule. Get used to mowing your grass. Summer is right around the corner, and uh, you're going to need to mow that grass once a week. Now, everyone's yard greens up differently. There are different factors, uh, such as the thickness of your lawn. If you have a thick zoysia lawn, it's probably going to green up later than someone who has thinner Bermuda grass. That thin Bermuda grass will be the first to green up because it's allowing, again, the sunlight to penetrate the soil to warm up that soil temperature. Uh, if you have a thicker zoysia lawn, that, that uh, it doesn't allow the sunlight to warm up that soil temperature. But that's another reason to go ahead and uh, cut your grass, uh, get it down as short as you can uh, to allow the sunlight to get to the soil. Other factors that can affect uh, green up are, um, you know, just your, the outside temperatures that I've already mentioned, uh, thickness of the turf, shade levels in your yard. If you have an area that does not get a lot of sun, obviously that area will green up later than the areas of your lawn that get full sun. Uh, if you have an area that has a lot of moisture, a lot of standing water, uh, that will hold that lawn back too. And, you know, it's going to, uh, those areas will be delayed and green up. Uh, soil compaction. Uh, if you have a, a yard when you're walking through it, if it feels just as hard as the sidewalk or the driveway, uh, you've got some, some soil compaction there. So uh, that affects the soil, uh, or excuse me, that affects the green up as well. I'll also mention uh, bagging your clippings when you mow these first couple of times. Uh, if you leave those clippings out there, you're defeating the purpose of, of mowing it this time of year anyway. Those clippings will prevent the sunlight to, to get to the soil. So make sure you bag those clippings. Uh, if you have areas of your lawn that are just kind of flat and matted down, get a rake and rake those areas up. Fluff that grass up uh, for the same reason. Let that sunlight get to the soil. Tip number two, watering habits. Go ahead and get on a watering schedule. Um, this time of year, you really only need to water your lawn maybe twice a week. Um, in, the, in the heat of the summer, you can bump that up to three times a week. Some people water daily. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, just two to three times a week is all you need. So go ahead and, and get on a, a watering schedule. And tip number three is to perform a core aeration on your yard. Uh, this will help to alleviate any kind of soil compaction that you're having. Uh, aerations are great. You, you can do this anytime throughout the growing season, April through September. Um, but over time, your lawn can, can get compacted. Uh, your soil can be just as hard as your driveway when you're walking through it. Um, a core aeration will help 
the roots of your grass to grow deeper. It just allows water flow and air flow just to flow smoothly through your lawn. Uh, so having a core aeration done is a really good idea. So follow these three tips and you'll be ahead of the curve. You'll be helping your lawn throughout this green up process. Thank you for watching this video.